All right, so the Blast Doom MK3 Grenadier Gauntlet. I don't see it being used a whole lot on Ogrens, but I gotta say it's a very fun weapon. It really is. Uh, it's it's really versatile. Of course, you have your explosive punch. That's your special ability. Kind of just punch people in the head and blow it up on their face. Uh, and then, of course, you have the ability to brace or aim down sight and launch a grenade at somebody. As far as far as far as the blessings go. I really have been having a lot of fun with pinpointing target and shattering impact. So your attacks will apply rend on projectile hit for shattering impact. And then for pinpointing target, you get plus 8% power every 0.4 seconds while aiming up to five times. You can get up to 40% power in two seconds, which in my opinion, I mean, that's really good. Now, granted, I do, if we're going to talk about grenade weapons, I would rather go with the rumbler. I just think the Rumbler has more potential, especially it allows you to go point blank barrage more comfortably, in my opinion. Reloaded and ready talent, you get constant plus 12% range damage for 6 seconds. And the reload on that is super fast compared to the Grenadier Gauntlet. I guess what I always get tricked out by is the fact that I, I, I feel like the Grenadier Gauntlet should have a block. If it had a block, it would be a heavy contender for me especially mixed with the heavy hitter build down into that keystone with bull rush i think that having a lot of mobility is important with elgrim with that build you have a lot of you, ha you do have a lot of mobility and your special attack does actually count towards your heavy hitter stacks which is fantastic i really enjoy that i think that that's a, a really unique feature of this weapon the only problem is is it's single target right so you don't get the cleave really and even with your charged up heavy attacks you don't have much cleave on this weapon unless they're kind of in a group around you right you're able to punch them in the top of the head and then follow it up and chain it into a quick little explosive punch uh i think that this weapon has a lot of potential i think it has some really decent blessings that support it uh and then of course just the ability to kind of snipe people out. The only problem is, like I said, the Rumbler and the Kickback, both, in my opinion, kind of outweigh the ability of the weapon. Now, if the Grenadier Gauntlet did have a kind of a horizontal sweeping attack, I think that that would really increase its potential for being a, a constantly used weapon for me. And another interesting thing that i was thinking of is you know this might not be for everyone so maybe it could be another variation of the weapon but possibly a version that can be used for both the one and two weapon slots where one it would become more of a melee weapon so it would have that wide horizontal swing and the ability to block still you know keep the rock the uh explosive punch for the special attack I think that that's really just like the defining factor of this weapon. I think that that's really important. I think it's a really unique ability. But maybe, like I said, have that be a possibility where if you have it set to, you know, if you take it out in the one slot, you're able to block with the weapon and you're also able to do wide horizontal sweeping attacks uh, that can be followed up into that quick little grenade punch. I think that that would really keep your momentum if you wanted to build it into a heavy hitter tree. A lot of people just tend, maybe not to overlook, but there's just better alternatives. Like I said, I love this weapon. Um, I just wish that it had a little more focus on it instead of just being kind of like a, a secondary background weapon. Why not turn it into a really good hybrid one and two slot weapon? Not only the heavy hitter build, but also give a little bit more support to the point blank range build. You know, you'll be able to take it out, hit point blank range, empty your clip. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, either way, it doesn't really go too well with the point blank range build unless you build into another keystone. Because uh, burst limiter override, it, there's just not enough in the, you know, four shots is not enough to, to really make burst, to really make burst limiter override worthwhile in uh in utilizing this weapon with point blank range but like i said the rend the 30 percent rend is fantastic 
And just to show you what I am talking about with the rumbler. Um, I did also do a video on this, but like you've got quite a bit of speed and damage with the rumbler. The rumbler does have a slightly higher chance to proc first limiter override than the gauntlet does because you're reloading so quickly and you are also able to get about six shots out before point blank barrage ends as opposed to the gauntlet where you really can only get a comfortable four shots out and then of course you do just do a lot more damage with the rumbler uh especially with the shattering impact and that adhesive right it's a very fun build so again i think that the gauntlet could really have a lot of potential if it were given a little bit more love and made a little bit more unique as opposed i mean obviously it's a it's a glove that shoots grenades so it's unique but i think that having a little bit more variation in what it can do in its attack pattern and the versatility of the weapon itself could take it a long way um but anyways let me know what you think i would love to see a change to that but uh they seem to have their hands full so i wouldn't count on it anytime soon just something I was thinking that I thought I'd share with you guys. But alright. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.